All right, this is going to be my first little demonstration video of my uh, homemade bug zapper. I don't have the cage electrified. As you can see, there's some pretty good size bugs on there. There's a big moth there. There's a few onto the cage and flying around. I'm going to plug in this 10,000 volt transformer down there. You can't really see it because it's dark, but... Yeah, let's see what happens when I energize the cage here. Oh yeah, that got it all, all riled up. Look at that. Anything that goes through the cage just gets fried. You can hear the cage humming. seems to work pretty well. Anything that goes in there either falls and dies or gets zapped and gets fried. I just took out like 10, 15 bugs just now. And everything that touches the cage seems to be... It seems strange though because there's these ones here that they grab a hold of it and they're getting like electrocuted or something and they like they get locked onto it and they can't let go. Wow. See, I like that. Oh, another one. It's, nothing makes it to the inner inner core of that cage, it seems like. Ten thousand volts, ignition transformer. Instead of using one of those uh, low amperage transformers, I made the using a high amperage one, higher amperage. So I do that. That's why I have it open at the top so that arc can uh, disappear there. And there we go. Seems to be working very well. It seems like this larger cage gets more airflow, so more bugs can fly through it or into it, and it, it just seems to be getting them all the time. <laughs> oh, see, those were already dead. I just blew it right off. It was already dead. Gosh, I can smell the electricity in the air now because of all those arcs. <clears throat> well, I think it killed all of them. <gasps> yeah, that thing's dead. It just dropped and didn't move. Oh my gosh, there's one that's in the middle. How did he get in there? No way. I just saw one crawling on the bulb. There you are. There, got him. <laughs> I blew him into the cage. <laughs> Look, there's one that's getting electrocuted down there, just between the. It's got its wings spread between the two cages, and it's just going like zzz, wiggling. Oh, this is so cool, dude! I could watch this thing kill insects all night. After being attacked by yellow jackets and. Being bugged by moths every single night, trying to work outside when it's not hot, and oh, I just got so fed up with nature's insect pests. I just decided to build my own custom electrified bug zapping cage. The bulb came out of a, a store bought bug zapper, but uh, this one's about twice as big as that biggest one that you can buy. It's like a 
12, 14 inch bulb right there. And the cage itself is probably like somewhere between 26 and 30 something inches. It's just under, probably just over two, two and a half feet and just under three feet, somewhere in there. Well, it killed all the, it killed them all. I don't see, oh, there comes one. Oh, it died. Oh, there it went. <laughs> see, look, now there's no bugs. They're all dead. They all got killed. Oh, there comes another one. Oh, it's actually booking. It's running away. <laughs> oh, here comes another victim. Oh, there it went. Oh, that is so cool. Alright, well, I guess the show's kind of over. <laughs> it, it, see, it, it, this thing kills them in waves. It seems like they they come in groups all to all de-energize the cage and let them all get drawn to the light and then when I come out 10 minutes 15 minutes later it's another wave to be killed just energize the cage and watch them all get killed all fried <laughs> and right now I don't have anything bugging me I have nothing flying around me no mosquitoes nothing they're all dead it seems like it's much more peaceful out here with all, all of them gone Oh, there just went another one. It just fell and died as soon as it went in the cage. Oh, here comes one. That's a big one, too. God, that one's still getting electrocuted down there. Look at that one over there. Its wings are just like stretched out because it's gotten electrocuted. And that's what 10,000 volts will do to you. Make your hair stand up. Oh wow. It's like arcing between the, on the thing's wings or something down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, it says the moth gets stuck between the cage and the two cages and it starts to just literally f burn and cook them to death. See, look at that. <laughs> oh man, I can smell the burnt bugs in the air now. Wow. Yeah, it's like Tim Allen always says. I just was not satisfied by how much power it was putting out. So I rewired it. Yeah.